Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number 844-236-6010, 6010 Try to call in early. So we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, something you may have heard about, read about, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of our longevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please go to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business if you're an entrepreneur, if you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, if you make, want to make your own hours, work out of the home, enjoy tax benefits associated with having your own business for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business with the longevity products and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you like, you can just get your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee. Sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. we got news stories as well as blog posts and videos at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, and all the longevity products are up as well. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you want to talk to a flesh and blood human being, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All our Truth, uh, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. Actually, we had to change the names on these products, uh, Transdermal C Serum, Transdermal C Balm as well as our Omega-6 Healing Cream and our Transdermal Retinol 5% Gel. Transdermal meaning the active material goes into the lower levels of the skin, the surface of the skin, the dead stuff on the top, the stratum, corneum. That's not where you need your skin products. That's where most skincare products work, but that doesn't do you any good. You could spend a lot of money just getting some soft, dead skin if you really want activity, if you really want to achieve benefits from a topical product, you've got to get down into the lower levels of the skin. So that's what we accomplish with our transdermal delivery system in our transdermal C, transdermal C serum, transdermal balm, C balm, as well as our Truth Retinol 5% Gel and Omega-6 Healing Cream. You can find out all about our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the bright side. We're talking about my favorite, one of my favorite supplements, N-acetylcysteine, NAC. If you are looking for a non-essential nutrient that uh, is going to get you multiple benefits, a multifunctional non-essential nutrient, look no further than NAC. It's cheap. It's readily available. You'll be supporting your body's ability to, to detoxify, uh, to build glutathione, the body's primary detoxifying compound. And you'll be enjoying many of the other health benefits associated with this really spectacular multifunctional nutrient. More and more, NAC is being recognized as a brain health nutrient. Some of these benefits 
or the result of the fact that NAC helps you build glutathione, and glutathione itself is important for brain health, according to a May 2012 article published in the journal Biochimica et Biophysica Acta. I think that's a Spanish journal. Titled, Elevation of Glutathione as a Therapeutic Strategy in Alzheimer's Disease. Researchers concluded the, quote, increasing glutathione remains a promising therapeutic strategy to slow or prevent MCI, that is a mild cognitive impairment, and Alzheimer's disease, unquote. In other words, you can use glutathione building strategies not only to prevent Alzheimer's disease, but just to keep your brain healthy. Now, they're talking about in this article to prevent MCI, mild cognitive impairment, but the implication is that you can use NAC just to think more clearly. You can use NAC just to be smarter. You can use NAC just to have a better memory in addition to preventing mild cognitive impairment, officially diagnosed mild cognitive cognitive impairment and, and Alzheimer's disease. Remember, NAC and glutathione are functionally equivalent in the sense that NAC helps you build glutathione. Of course, you do need other things to build glutathione, the amino acid glutamine, the amino acid glycine. Glutathione is a tripeptide. That means it's made up of three amino acids, cysteine, glycine, and glutamine. And using all three of these as supplements can be very helpful for building glutathione. If you're dealing with mental health issues or want to prevent cognitive impairment or dementia, and for all the other zillions of other things that glutathione does in the body. Vitamin C is important for helping regenerate glutathione. The mineral selenium and sulfur are also important. Vitamin E is important, but certainly NAC as a supplement is, if not the most important way to build glutathione, one of the best ways to build glutathione. According to researchers from the Linus Pauling Institute at Oregon State University, writing in the journal Redox Biology, glutathione can help protect the body against stress-related effects associated with aging, including cognitive impairment. And again, a lot of this has to do a lot of these glutathione benefits can be achieved by supplementing with NAC. Some of the mental health benefits of NAC and glutathione are associated with detoxification. This is the superstar role. This is the major role of glutathione and NAC. They're detoxifying elements and antioxidants as well. According to Professor Anna Andreazza from the University of Toronto, there is a major relationship between oxidative stress, that is oxidation, and psychiatric illness. Oxidation is a type of burning. When you hear about antioxidation, it's anti-burning. Cells burn out. Oxygen burns things. Oxygen is really how you can't have a fire without oxygen. Fire is actually the result of oxidation. And that same kind of fire-like effect that's related to oxygen occurs at the microscopic or quantum level, and that's called oxidation. And just like a fire will burn a log, oxidation will fry out your brain cells. So antioxidants like NAC and glutathione can have mental health or psychiatric benefits. Increased oxidative burden, in increased oxidation, increased burning has been found in the brains of patients suffering from depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia. And it has been shown, according to a, 2001, a 2011 article, this one published in the International Journal of Neuropsychopharmacology, that patients who are dealing with these kinds of health issues, depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, OCD, these patients have reduced levels of brain glutathione. Another 2011 article, this one in the Portuguese journal, Revisita Brasileira de Psiquiatra, which I guess, I guess means Re Brazilian Reviews in Psychiatry, uh, this article found that 8 out of 10 patients who received 2 grams of NAC for 24 weeks responded positively to treatment. Researchers concluded that, quote, NAC may be useful for major depressive episodes in bipolar disorder, unquote. A meta-analysis, that's a study of other studies or an analysis of other analyses. This one was published in the online journal Neuroscience and Behavioral Reviews covering autism, Alzheimer's disease, cocaine and pot addiction, as well as bipolar disorder and depression, and OCD, described favorable evidence supporting NAC's utility in treating all of these psychiatric issues. Investigators concluded, NAC seems to be promising for mood disorders overall, in addition to being safe and well tolerated. This stuff's amazing, you guys. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a commercial break and come back with more good health information on the bright side right after this. 
are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24 7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can also purchase longevity products off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. Off our websites as well, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can purchase your longevity products as well. Or you can call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for more information. If you want to purchase our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, our number today, 844 844- 236 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, NAC, glutathione, psychiatric or mental health issues, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, and we'll get your calls here at the bottom of the hour. So NAC, well known as a detoxifying substance. I use NAC if I feel like I, I use NAC every day, but I take extra if I feel like I've got a cold coming on. It's got great skin health benefits. Later on, we're going to talk about how you can use NAC topically for dealing with skin health issues. But what's really astounding to me is that this wonderful, amazing, non-toxic, inexpensive, readily available nutritional, multifunctional nutritional supplement has so many mental health benefits, some of which are related to the fact that NAC helps the body build glutathione. Glutathione has brain health benefits. Glutathione, as well as NAC, have protective properties that are antioxidants. The brain is burning through energy, so anything that helps... Support, uh, support antioxidation is going to have brain health benefits, but still it's quite astounding. All the various ways that you can protect your brain and support mental health by using this, this really astounding nutritional supplement, N-acetylcysteine. An article from 2008 published in the journal Biological Psychiatry found that supplementation with two grams of NAC daily led to improvements in negative symptoms associated with schizophrenia. You can actually use NAC for reducing the the symptoms of schizophrenia and also for addictive behaviors. NAC has been shown to be helpful for various addictions. According to the the American Journal of Psychiatry, teenagers treated with 1,200 milligrams of NAC twice a day achieved successful outcomes in cannabis addiction, marijuana addiction. Second study found that patients treated with NAC during a three-day hospitalization for cocaine dependence Patients had a decreased desire to use cocaine. NAC's anti-addiction benefits even extend to gambling behavior. According to the University of Minnesota, uh, researchers writing in biological psychiatry, this was in 2006, NAC, N-acetylcysteine, can be used to, quote, target core symptoms of reward-seeking addictive behaviors such as gambling, unquote. And there is more. OCD, obsessive behaviors, hand washing, hair pulling, counting, tapping, rocking. And by the way, all of these kinds of uh, uh, obsessive compulsive behaviors represent a control strategy. This is the reason why people have M- uh, OCD disorders. It has to do with control. And there's really not much people, not much you can do from a from a, uh, a medical standpoint. Two to three percent of the population suffers from OCD, and the vast majority of of patients get minimal benefit from, from the traditional therapeutic strategies, which are basically Prozac and, and serotonin reuptake inhibitors. According to a 2016 article, this one in the Journal of Clinical Pharmacological Therapy, NAC was beneficial in the treatment of patients with OCD and can be helpful as an adjunct to Prozac in the treatment of moderate to severe OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. There's actually four types of uh, four categories of OCD, according to psychiatrists. One, checking things. That's the need to make sure that windows are checked and doors are locked and the stove is turned off and your cars, your car, uh, car door is locked. Sometimes people have this kind of checking OCD, checking category of OCD will reread letters, reread emails multiple times before they send them. They'll constantly call their loved ones or constantly check in on their loved ones. Second category of OCD involves contamination. This is also known as germophobia. 
It involves constant hand washing, fear of using public bathrooms or public telephones, avoiding handshaking, avoiding uh, touching doorknobs with your bare hands. Third type of OCD is hoarding behavior. That's the inability to throw things out. And then the fourth type is rumination, which is obsessive and repetitive thoughts and obsessive focusing on body sensations, breathing or blinking or obsessive awareness of various body parts. For patients suffering from OCD, there's not much really you can do. Uh, from a psychiatric perspective, they'll give you Prozac and antidepressants, but it doesn't really do much good, uh, although it will calm you down a little bit, Prozac and, and, um, and uh, the serotonin reuptake inhibitors and various antidepressants. And while NAC is not a cure-all for these things, NAC is not a cure-all for OCD or any other psychiatric issue for that matter, NAC does have some benefits for these kinds of things, and there's tons of articles that talk about this. OCD, to be clear, and other psychiatric issues usually involve some kind of trauma, usually some kind of trauma at an early age. There's a, there was a, uh, a study called the Advanced Child, uh, Adverse Childhood Experiences Study, the ACEs study, that talked about the relationship of psychiatric disorders in adulthood and teenagerhood and trauma, as well as non-psychiatric issues and trauma. It turns out that trauma at a young age can be related to cancer and heart disease and other health challenges, autoimmunity, as well as psychiatric disorders. And I'm not a big believer in using prescription drugs for psychiatric disorders. I'm not even a big believer in using any nutritional supplements for psychiatric disorders. Not that nutritional supplementation isn't important and can't help, but if there is some kind of childhood trauma issue that's going on that's at the root of your psychiatric problem, that really needs to be addressed. It's not like you can just take the B vitamins and magnesium and N-acetylcysteine and your psychiatric health challenge will disappear. Nonetheless, there is good evidence that says that using nutritional supplementation as well as dietary strategies like keeping the sugar out of your diet, as well as lifestyle strategies like exercise and rest and deep breathing and relaxation strategies can have a lot of benefits. According to the Journal of Psychi Psychiatry and Neuroscience, NAC can be a promising therapeutic target and provides a window of treatment opportunity. That's a direct quote, a window of treatment opportunity, unquote, for various psychiatric disorders, including obsessive, uh, obsessive compulsive behaviors, addiction, and compulsive and grooming disorders in addition to schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Keep in mind, these are benefits. All of these health benefits, these mental health benefits that uh, psychiatric patients are getting, they're not coming from some kind of pharmaceutical agent. They're not coming from a toxic drug. They're coming from a gentle, safe, benign, non-toxic nutritional supplement that instead of causing side effects, which are inevitable when you take a prescription drug, Instead of causing side effects, you're going to get beneficial effects. You're going to take your NAC to address gambling behavior or OCD or, or whatever your psychiatric disorder is. And not only are you not going to get side effects, but you're going to be supporting your liver function. You're going to be improving eye health. You're going to be detoxifying medications if you are on a psychiatric med medication. You're going to be detoxifying from alcohol and from cigarettes and environmental pollutants and heavy metals. And all of this is for 50 cents a day and no doctor involved. You can get NAC right at your health food store or uh, from your, uh, right off the internet. You can also use your whey protein, which is a good source of cysteine, as well as glutathione builders. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side, and we have lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you've been, uh, if you left you on hold in the past, we do have lines open for you. We'll probably get to all our calls today because we don't have a lot of them at 844-236-6010. If you are on hold, hang on. We'll get to you here in just a second. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products or joining the Bright Side Ben team, if you want to start yourself a business, a longevity business, if you like nutrition, if you're one of those folks that just likes helping other people and you want to start a business and earn money, making a difference in the world, making a difference at one of the most fundamental, in one of the most fundamental ways you can make a difference, which is in people, in terms of people's health. You want to check out the Longevity Business Opportunity for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Longevity business, and we can help you build your business. Please call the Brightside Bend phone team at 866-735-2470. For more information, you can also go to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. 
and sign up right off the website. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here momentarily. This is from Scientific American. Super, super cool article. A new theory for diabetes. Not new if you've been listening to this program and not new if you've been listening to me over the last uh, decade or so. A couple of decades that I've been doing my presentations. This is a, a really cool article that found that uh, surgery that shortens the intestines eliminates diabetes. And so now researchers are thinking that diabetes may be related to the digestive system. Oh my goodness. What a surprise. How do you like that? Diabetes is related to the, to the digestive tract. Who knew? Well, if you understand the triangle of disease, you knew. Perhaps these scientists should be listening to the bright side because we talk about this link all the time. Diabetes is the second point on the triangle of disease. It follows digestive distress, period, end of story. There is no such thing as dysglycemia without an underlying digestive condition in the same way as there is no such thing as a chronic long-term degenerative health challenge, a progressive disease, a disease that gets worse and that doctors can do nothing about, or in other words, doctors will tell you there is no cure. There is no such thing as one of those kinds of health challenges that does not have an underlying digestive condition, period. And it usually involves the microbiome. In fact, I would go as far as to say it always involves the microbiome, the universe of bacteria that lives in our intestines. The microbiome is responsible for helping the body process energy. Once the body does not process energy correctly, we go on eating binges, particularly carbohydrate eating binges. That, that's where you get your dysglycemia, your messed up blood sugar, your insulin resistance, which affects 100 million people or more if you include so-called pre-diabetes. If you are dealing with a blood sugar issue, first and foremost, well, first and foremost, restrict your intake or limit your intake of sugars and use nutrients that help your body process sugar, but go back to the digestive system, particularly the microbiome. And by the way, the microbiome, the universe of bacteria that uh, makes up 10 times more cells in our body than us, you know, there's 10 times more bacterial cells in our body than there are our cells. Well, it turns out this microbiome is not only located in the intestine, it's also located on the skin. You have a skin microbiome, and as it turns out, eczema and psoriasis and acne and rosacea involve these bacteria on the skin. And when we take antibiotics, we not only destroy the bacteria in our gut, we also destroy the bacteria on our skin, and this can result in all kinds of skin health challenges. And if you think you're not taking antibiotics, guess again, because we're all taking antibiotics because we drink water tap water because we eat fish, which are given antibiotics. We eat livestock, uh, cattle and such, lamb, beef, and which are given antibiotics. And now we use things on top of our skin that kill bacteria on our skin. Triclosan, a new study links antibiotic resistance to this stuff called triclosan. Triclosan is a, uh, a chemical that's used in, in uh, soaps antibiotic, anti, uh, antimicrobial soaps and such. And triclosan is nasty stuff when it comes to antibiotic resistance and when it comes to killing bacteria on the skin. Scientists from the University of Birmingham in England have discovered a link between antibiotic resistance and resistance to triclosan, which is used in cleansers. You don't need to hand wash and kill germs on your hands and kill germs on your body. Regular soap will do it just fine. You don't need an antibiotic to do that. And by the way, one of the best ways to kill bacteria on the skin in a non-resistant fashion is to use alpha hydroxy acids. Alpha hydroxy acids have antibacterial properties. Although I got to tell you, with all of the research that's coming out about the microbiome on the skin, using things that kill bacteria on the skin may be something that we want to think, think about, uh, think again about. All right. Let's see if there's anything else here. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'll do one more and then we'll get your phone calls. This is from the American Journal of Physiology and Cell Physiology. Study cautions against statins as general preventive medicine. Doctors love using these cholesterol-lowering strategies for heart disease, but even more now they're exp experimenting with using cholesterol-lowering strategies for as uh, anti-cancer treatment or also to prevent Alzheimer's disease. Both cancer and Alzheimer's disease are linked 
at least observationally, to elevated levels of cholesterol. So now doctors want to use statin drugs uh, for these kinds of health issues in addition to using statin drugs to prevent heart disease. Well, it turns out that's not such a good idea. That's because statins suppress the maturation of stem cells, which are turning into immune cells. You have an immune cell called macrophages. Macrophage means big eaters. And these macrophages are not just important as immune cells. These macrophages literally, literally eat bacteria and eat viruses and eat, eat, uh, eat uh, 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 parasites and invaders into the body. But macrophages are critically important for healing. They stimulate the healing response. It turns out that statin drugs pre uh, prevent the maturation of these macrophages. Now, macrophages are also involved... In, uh, uh, they also show up in heart disease. I'm not going to say they cause heart disease, but they show up. Why? Because macrophages have an anti-inflammatory property, and heart disease is largely caused by inflammation in the blood vessels. Well, it turns out that some of statin's benefits for, for preventing heart disease involve killing or prevent, not killing, but preventing the, form, the maturation of these macrophages, but that might not be such a good thing. Macrophage is playing an important role in the healing process. So uh, according to this article, this is from uh, the American Journal of Physiolo uh, Physiology and Cell Physiology, maybe statins aren't such a great idea as general preventive medicine or as general preventive, uh, as preventive medicine for dealing with heart disease. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got a couple more interesting ones here. Uh, let's hit the phones. 844-236-6010. Carl, the Truth Raider, good morning, buddy. How you doing? Good morning, Benjamin. How is freedom working for you today? <laughs> uh, free, yeah, happy Freedom Day. Happy Fourth of July. Yeah. Well, it's the fifth now, but uh, I don't know. Licensing permits, asking for permission. We don't May have I all please? that. Yes, yeah, sometimes you wonder about <laughs> about how much Privileges. freedom exactly we have. We have a lot of extra privileges, extended privileges. That's that what we have in, in this country these days. That's what we have. Okay. Uh, BTT, the original, the core product. Thank you, Ben. I received it just a few days ago. Oh, nice. Good deal. Well, that Thank was you. for... Now, you, you had a... I, well, well, we'll take a break, and we'll, we'll talk, tell the listeners yeah. about the deal I made. I made. The swirl, did I make yeah, it on the, the air? Did I, make it, did I make that deal on the air with you? I yes, forgot. the Swirl okay. Beef Challenge to, to give a... I remember uh, that. Try I remember it. now. And then Carl, we got to take a break. Hang on, Carl. Okay. we got to take a break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Carl, the truth raider. So we made a deal. Uh, I told you that uh, I would send you out a BTT if you did a swear of cleanse and gave a report back, right? Absolutely. Just to give a step-by-step -step about what the improvement is, what's the difference, how okay, my so digestive system is working, if I have re reduction in, like, fibromyalgic pain, arthritic type of pain, bursitis pain that I was experiencing, and see if that decreases or it gets a little bit better and it's a little bit less and I have a little bit more energy or wanting to find out and, what the level of my energy were. And, and? And, and, and well, yeah, I would say it because... You know, I, I take care of myself fairly well, and I drink plenty of water and get exercise and, and had BTT and all the other supplements I had before, and I go on intermittent fasts. I, I noticed a, a slight bit of an increase because... You know, I wasn't someone who's, uh, you know, stuck on the standard American diet and, 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 uh, Got it. they would, it would, what you would say is, uh, someone who's, uh, has a sedentary lifestyle. So I, I get enough exercise. So it was an increase, I would say maybe about 20 to 25 percent improvement That's good. in That's energy. Not bad. How about now, as far as pain, uh, pain levels, that went down probably by about 50 percent. Wait a minute. Pain. Just from this, Hang on, don't run, don't, not so fast. Just from okay. the Swero V cleanse, you noticed a 50% reduction in pain? In uh, like bursitis type pain, arthritic type pain, nice. like old injuries that come back occasionally, you will get a pain in, uh, where you've injured yourself, like you sprained an ankle or something like that in the past, you'll get foot pain that comes back residual and reoccurring foot pain from that. I How about digestion? That remnant pain. How about well, digestion? Digestion? Mm. Uh, probably maybe 10 to 15% better. Okay. On that, be, um, 
Yeah, uh, a little bit more consistent and having uh, a solid stool, uh, the continents, and, and okay. instead of having loose stools and stuff like that, I was, I was having problems with before. So that solidified that I'll by probably maybe, I would say maybe 25 to 30 percent better. Okay, and what did you do? Tell me exactly what you did. What was your Swero V cleanse? How did you... Uh, well, well the, you? I got 12 bottles. I didn't know it was going to be that many. I thought it was going to be like one or two larger size bottles, and you do a sip, you know, like a sip every so many hours. Okay. But the, I got the, I was surprised to get a big case of it, and I got the orange and cinnamon blossom blend. And what, basically tell, what it is, is it, it's a replacement of your stomach acid. How did you do it, it though? Like. How did you use it? Uh, what was your I, protocol? I, I, about probably three to four times a day, I would take a good shot of it. Okay. Like, um, like, like a little bit bigger than like a styrofoam, small styrofoam cup size amount. Okay, so you didn't do the full. Ounces. You didn't do the half a bottle every hour kind of deal. No, no, I didn't do it drastically like that. I did it over okay. a long period of time. Did a period of maybe two two weeks or so. All right, so uh, what I would suggest is if you want even more benefits, is, uh, those are great benefits too, by the way, for just a swig every now and again. But uh, if you really want to get the full benefit of it, do half a bottle every hour for three days and uh, don't eat any food. Instead of food, okay. use your Swero V. Uh, use your Swero v. Uh, that's a, probably the right way to do it. I want to get to a few more calls, but I appreciate you doing that, uh, Carl. That's awesome, and I uh, hope everybody out there is listening because I talk about this all the time, but it's always helpful when people who actually participate in the program get benefits. It's one thing when I talk about it as a therapist, but Carl, when you talk about it as an actual patient or actual user of the products and, and you actually got the benefits of it yourself personally, that's much more meaningful than me talking about it as a researcher, as Absolutely. a therapist. Thanks so much for your call, Carl. Have a, have a good day, man. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Elliot in South Jersey. Good morning, Elliot. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Ben. Good morning. Where uh, are you in South, South Jersey, Jersey, by the way? Well, pretty far down below, down below the Vineland area. Oh, okay. I know where you are. Did, oh, okay. you, see, did you see Chris Christie there yesterday on the beach? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what do people think of him out there in Jersey, just, just for curiosity's sake? Uh, being a, a local GOP committee man, not too oh, much. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right, that's interesting. <laughs> all right, Elliot, what's going on? How can we help you, my friend? Okay, well, I'm one of the... I consider myself one of the old geezers, okay, at 75, but I'm still up and walking and talking and riding a nice. bicycle and doing Nice. You sound good. Around the house and you what sound have good. You. Now, for probably, I don't know, I've lost track, 12, 13 years, possibly a little more, I have dealt with intermittent atrial fibrillation attacks. Okay. Okay. And I had every young doctor, if you will, wanted to run me up to Cooper Medical, which is kind of famous in this area in Camden. Oh, do ablation now. Get a... Oh, get a, no. Don't do it. The, you know, the pacemaker, all that. Well, I told them no. I just keep saying no. So I have to make a little confession here. I listened to uh, to Joyce Riley and her guests for a lot, a lot of years. And, of course, the dear lady's dead now. But she Who? Had did she, wait a minute. Did Joyce pass away? Yeah. Oh, week. my... Oh, I did not know that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, okay. I, I okay. never heard any mentions of it on your program, but I heard it no. on everybody else's. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She lost her battle with cancer. Oh, well, that's terrible. She was so sweet. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, absolutely. All right. So, well, anyway, uh, but go ahead. Yeah. I have, I have heard you mention a couple of times, just in your brief, but uh, atrial fibrillation and and being part of the uh, connective tissue and so forth. Mm-hmm. Now, I have a lot of friends who are approaching my ages or up in, you know, either pre-retirement or retirement age, whatever, and they've developed also atrial fibrillation problems of one sort or another. And, of course, a couple of them ended up with pacemakers because they, mm -hmm. they don't want to listen to me. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I just do the best I can to treat myself at home. I made in There's the lots you could do. There's lots you could do. I'm in the hospital, and I got Elliot. tired of that when I... Yes. Ellie, I only got, two, only got a couple of minutes, but let me help you with AFib because there's a lot of folks who are dealing with this, okay? First of all, you're right. Ablations, the, the doctors love doing the pacemakers and the ablations where they electrocute the heart or the, the chemical ablations where they use beta blockers, beta blocker drugs to slow the heart down, which, as I've said a zillion times, is the stupidest idea in the world to me to shut down the heart, to poison the heart. 
AFib represents a, a major stress on the heart. It's a sign that the heart is not getting the nutrients, specifically the oxygen that it needs. So the, the first and foremost, the best thing you could do for AFib is to s slow the body down by deep breathing. Relax, I don't say slow the body, but relax the body by deep breathing. You can even use something called HBOT, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. You might want to even do some research on HBOT and AFib. It turns out that you can get some wonderful benefits with hyperbaric oxygen for atrial fibrillation because one of the major reasons the heart fibrillates is because it's not getting enough oxygen. Now the connective tissue factor is also very important as we've said on this program. You don't hear this a lot. I never hear cardiologists talking about this, but the heart is lined with connective tissue. It's, it's, it sits on a skeleton of connective tissue, a framework of connective tissue, and it's wrapped around in connective tissue. And this connective tissue functions to oxygenate the heart and to nourish the heart. As we become uh, more toxic with the course of time and with aging, as the damaging of effects of sugar accrue, that connective tissue breaks down. The heart cells do not become nourished as effectively, and they do not become as oxygenated as effectively. So in addition to your breathing and your uh, activating the parasympathetic nervous system and, and uh, perhaps hyperbaric oxygen therapy, you want to build that connective tissue. This is why vitamin C is so important for the heart. One of the main, main reasons why vitamin C is so important for the heart. In fact, it could very well be that heart disease and atrial fibrillation are really the manifestations of scurvy, of subclinical scurvy, which is a vitamin C deficiency. Vitamin C builds connective tissue. You can't build connective tissue without vitamin C. So making sure you're getting enough vitamin C for AFib patients is also very important. Antioxidants like vitamin E can be stupendously valuable for folks dealing with atrial fibrillation. Using all your diabetic or anti-diabetic strategies, using your sweeties and uh, your uh, uh, magnesium and also uh, uh, in addition to the sweeties using uh, the ultimate niacin which can help you with sugar and the ultimate selenium which can help you with your blood sugar those can also be helpful and then there's wonderful nutrients that are specific for the heart to help energize the heart the B vitamins probably stand out in importance also electrolytes like potassium and calcium and magnesium you'll get all those in the beyond tangy tangerine Using vegetable juices, which are good sources of electrolytes, that can be helpful. Keeping your calories down and going ketogenic is probably the ultimate in your lifestyle strategies for supporting heart health, whether you're talking AFib or you're talking preventing heart attacks or preventing strokes, whatever uh, heart challenge you have, uh, using, uh, using lifestyle strategies like the ketogenic diet and caloric restriction as well as exercise can also be very helpful. There's so many non-medical, non-pharmacological strategies for dealing with heart disease, dealing with cardiovascular health issues, dealing with AFib that it is tragic beyond belief to have some medical professional poison your heart, electrocute your heart, or stick devices in, the, in your heart in order to deal with these kinds of issues. It's just heartbreaking. Elliot, thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. We're out of time on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you so much for listening. Friends, please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off our websites, or you can call 866-735-2470. Also, please check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.